Let me tell you the story of an asthmatic and ibuprofen. There is a 26-year-old man who has asthma and is using asthma inhalers every day. One day, he hurt his ankle while playing volleyball in the park and got some ibuprofen at the petrol station on the way back home. After he took two tablets to make sure they will kick in quickly, he started coughing and couldn't catch his breath properly that evening. Blaming his body that is obviously aging and cannot cope with sports that well anymore, he resolved the problem with a couple of puffs of his blue inhaler. Was that his body aging or could it have been something else? Let's have a look into it. Ibuprofen is a painkiller known as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug and can be used to ease mild to moderate pain such as toothache, migraine, period pain, ease inflammation caused by conditions that affect the joints, bones and muscles such as rheumatoidal arthritis, ease pain and swelling caused by sprains and strains. You should not take ibuprofen if you have a history of a strong unpleasant reaction to ibuprofen, aspirin or other NSAIDs. Currently have or had a stomach ulcer. Have severe heart failure, kidney or liver disease. Are taking low-dose aspirin for the prevention of cardiovascular disease. You should use ibuprofen with caution if you are aged 65 or over, pregnant, breastfeeding, or you have asthma, lupus, Crohn's disease, high blood pressure, any problems with your heart such as angina, heart attacks or mild or moderate heart failure, had a stroke. So what's the problem of people who have asthma taking ibuprofen? About 20% of adults with asthma and 5% of asthmatic children have what is called aspirin-induced asthma. They develop potentially severe asthma symptoms if they take aspirin or non-steroidal anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen. Asthmatics who are sensitive to aspirin and NSAIDs often have nasal polyps, an allergic skin rash called urticaria and chronic nasal allergies. If you have ever had an allergic or asthmatic reaction to these drugs, you should never take them again. But if you are over 40 and have taken ibuprofen with no problems, the risk in taking it again is very small. As a rule, asthmatics should use paracetamol. Effects of ibuprofen on asthma Those who are affected after taking ibuprofen can have asthma symptoms that range from mild to severe. Ibuprofen may worsen the symptoms of asthma, such as wheezing, coughing or shortness of breath. It may cause the airways to narrow in a condition known as bronchospasm. People with asthma who have a peak flow meter can also check on changes in the readings after taking ibuprofen to see if the painkiller is causing them problems. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe for more health videos. Feel free to comment below and see you again soon.